Dozens of unsuspecting holidaymakers have been left stranded and thousands of dollars out of pocket after being let down by a Fremantle-based travel agency. The Sky Air Services customers say they paid for flights that were never booked by their travel agent. Some were only made aware of the situation when they got to the airport. All up, about $175,000 has been lost. The victims are desperate to recoup the costs. Angry because you know you, we all have to work hard for the for the money and side for holiday. Holiday is. I rang and she no answer. I sent message. She no answer. And yeah, now I don't, I don't have ticket. I don't have nothing. So what are our rights and how can travellers protect themselves from this kind of thing happening to them? Dave Hilliard from Consumer Protection joins us live on the program. Dave, good morning to you. Morning, Tim. How common is this sort of thing and should we all be worried to some degree or have a, a degree of concern when we're booking an a, a holiday through an agent? Well, look, thankfully it's not a very common occurrence, um, but it does happen from time to time and it's not just isolated to the travel industry. But in this particular industry and this circumstance, people weren't being given their confirmed flight arrangements. So they were getting itineraries, they were being given the details of where they were going and what flights they were on, but they weren't being given the electronic tickets, if you like, the formal booking of the flights with the airlines. And I guess that was the, the sign, which perhaps people weren't understanding of, but that was the sign that people weren't having tickets issued in their name. Yeah, some of that documentation you're talking about looked pretty detailed, looked pretty genuine and obviously convincing to a lot of people. Uh, is the electronic ticket the key uh, for people to be looking for? Yeah, it's absolutely part of that. So you, what you're looking for when you're booking through a travel agent or you're booking online is to have this formal arrangement so that you know that you've got a confirmed arrangement with the hotel where you might be going to stay or with the airline that you're going to be travelling with. And unless that e-ticket's been issued to you, then you don't have confirmation of your flight arrangements. Now, when you're dealing with, with travel agents, in the main they're going to issue those tickets pretty, pretty quickly and you'll have your confirmed flight arrangements. Uh, sometimes there are delays, but you'd want some assurance as to why that delay is occurring. And the method of payment can also be important? It is. Um, we've certainly got some protections if we use our credit card. So credit card arrangements have got the uh, chargeback arrangement. So if you don't get your goods, your credit card provider will uh, intervene and can reverse those payments. If you've done those payments by direct transfer or by cash payments or FPOS, then I'm afraid that that doesn't apply to you. Are any of these people going to be able to recoup some of the costs or perhaps even all of the cost uh, through their travel insurance? It's probably unlikely. There are some policies in, in existence now which protect against the uh, travel agent itself's insolvency, but they're very few and far between and you'd have to specifically have asked for it. Um, and I think in this instance, most of the consumers we've spoken to wouldn't have that sort of protection. So travel insurance is very important for covering your personal situations and what might happen to you whilst you're travelling. Um, there aren't very many policies around that will protect you against uh, the financial failure of the agent themselves. All right, Dave Hilliard from Consumer Protection, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thanks, Tim.